<clears throat> Glycogen Guy Volume 3 fuckers. I have 800 grams dry weight of rice eating. Uh, so the total macros today are going to be 343 grams of protein, 800 grams of carbs, and 80 grams of fat because I am trying to be massive. I don't know. Um, but... Training's going great. I feel like a smashed up bag of assholes um, because I got a promotion at work, which is fantastic. More money, more problems. Um, but I am there all the time, and I am tired, and I work a lot, so whatever. Combine that with four-hour gym sessions and horrible, horrible Thomas Neal volume, and I feel like garbage, but it's fine. Everything is fine. Uh, I'm just eating a lot. I'm going to do the U.S. Open. I'm going to squat 900 pounds and do a bunch of other shit. I don't know. Hopefully. I ate 800s if I cannot fuck up, but um, basically wanted to make this video because I wanted to point out how pathetic you all are, not everybody that's watching this video, but a lot of people, um, because I have a great, strong, strong friend uh, named Katie Ann Rutherford. A lot of you know her, a lot of you follow her, um, because she is an inspiration to myself and a lot of other people, but she's been getting a lot of accusations of uh, steroid use. And it just sort of blows my mind because I I don't compete tested. I don't pretend like I do. It's just like, I just don't, you know, because that's my choice. It's fine, whatever. Anybody can do whatever the fuck they want because this is America. Um, but she competes tested, and she has been an elite athlete her entire life, and she kicks ass at whatever she does, whatever she pretty much puts her mind to, and to have these guys, and I read comments and I replied back to them, to some of them, just because I'm an asshole and I was bored and it just makes me angry. Um, it's amazing seeing these people that's like, you're clearly on drugs, all acting all high and mighty, like, oh, I don't know, I don't know what Trent is, I don't know what Clint is, oh, and doing all this bullshit that's like, if, if you weren't in this sport, if you weren't in this tiny modicum of, um, powerlifting, strength, athletics, whatever, you'd have no idea what that is. People don't talk about that shit. If you didn't have social media and just lifted because you love lifting, because that's the goddamn bottom line, or at least it should be, you would just, you wouldn't know what that is, you know? And if no, if you have always been an elite athlete, like, let's say, Jesse Norris, who I think is natural, a lot of people don't, but a lot of people are also pussies, um... It's, you take that natural athlete, the gifted genetic freak that is successful at whatever they apply themselves to, and then basically just put them in this niche, not very technical, not very finesse oriented, not very skill based sport known as powerlifting. Nine times out of ten, they're probably going to shit on a lot of people because they're natural athletes and people like just taking this like this stance of gotta be drugs gotta be drugs gotta be drugs I work hard gotta be drugs if they're better than me it's gotta be drugs it's gotta be drugs how about if you take hard work plus genetics plus Katie for instance has been training for something whether it was track and field um whatever for 15 years I don't know um Myself, I have been uh, lifting since I was 13, like just, well, 14, right after my 14-year-old birthday, 14 year old birthday. Um, and then applying that, I haven't taken longer than two weeks off in a row for 10 years. If you still are shitty at something after 10 years not taking any break for extended period of time, you should fucking examine what you're doing in that sport and how you're training, how you're trying to become better at it because you're fucking something up somewhere along the process. It's just this goddamn defeatist attitude that everybody has and it just pissed me off because I'm seeing these people talk about... Cat, God damn it. My fucking cat is trying to attack my bottle cap because she's a psycho. Um... <clears throat> It's, it's this defeatist attitude. You think people are better than you because... Or you think that people are cheating to be better than you because you just can't handle the fact that you just might not be all what you think you are. 
we are all the main characters in all of our individual stories. Like, I'm the action hero. But guess what? My neighbor is the fucking lead role in his own story. Sometimes that's not how the goddamn world works, and you have to realize that. 